Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of uh, Nigerian newspapers. And I begin with uh, the Nigerian News uh, Direct. The major story here says, Power reshuffle. Tinubu suspends EFCC chairman as uh, panic rises among Buhari's appointees. Bauer to undergo proof over weighty allegations, conduct in office. you find all the details on the front page of uh, the Nigerian News Direct. To the Daily Trust now, uh, Tinubu suspends EFCC Chairman Bawa. Tinubu suspends EFCC Chairman Bawa. you find all the details on the front page of the Daily Trust. To this Nigerian newspaper now, Bawa, end of the road. The President, President Tinubu suspends EFCC Chair amid allegations of gross misconduct a few days after Emefiele CBN's governor's ouster. All the details on the front page of this Nigeria uh, newspaper. To the front page of the first news newspaper now, and still towing the same line of uh, the story of the suspension of the EFCC chair, Bauer surrenders to DSS on the goes grilling. And uh, the writer here says, after President Tinubu orders his indefinite suspension probe over abuse of office. To the leadership newspaper now, Tinobu begins monetary policy reforms, floats Naira. Tinobu begins uh, monetary policy reforms, floats Naira. You find all the details on the front page of the leadership newspaper, Mike. All right, I have the Nation newspaper here, and it's saying CBN abolishes multiple Naira dollars uh, exchange rates, right? That's the Nation newspaper. CBN abolishes multiple Naira dollar exchange rates. A market-driven currency regime excites financial experts. Okay, that's what the Nation newspaper has. And from there, let's go to this day. This day newspaper says CBN abolishes multiple exchange rates. Transactions now to hold on the I and E window forex rates. That's the import and export window uh, forex rates. Right. That's what this day newspaper has in there. From there, let's go to Daily Independent. All right, Daily Independent exchange rates unification nears as CBN free floats Naira. A currency sells for 755 Naira a dollar. Uh, danger ahead, an analyst warn. Okay, uh, th those are perspectives in there. But however, the 755 Naira is on the parallel market, which is not recognized by uh, the Central Bank of Nigeria. From that Daily Independent, let's go to the Guardian newspaper. Guardian newspaper says uh, Naira slums as CBN commences rates harmonization faces supply hurdle. Naira slums as uh, CBN commences rates harmonization faces supply hurdle. Okay, uh, on the infograph there in front, you will see uh, the rates of the Naira uh, since the regime of former President Olusha Gobasanjo in 1999 and how the Naira has. Uh, uh, fed all that time until now. The, the, yeah, that's the Guardian newspaper. Now, the Punch newspaper is the next one now. Punch newspaper is talking about the same thing. It says, uh, a currency floating, private sector economists back CBN, Naira falls to 661 to a dollar. All right, Naira, there's a currency floating. It, it talks about fried, uh, private sector economists back CBN Naira falls to 664 Naira to the dollar. Okay, that's what uh, this, the Punch newspaper has. Business Day. Business Day says market thirsts for dollar supply after Naira float. Market thirsts for dollar supply after Naira float. That's what uh, the Business Day has. And from there, let's go to business, uh, well, to the Blueprint, Blueprint newspaper. It, it's saying that how Okoa embezzled Delta's 13% derivation funds. Clark is quoted at saying this. I right? says a misappropriation by Niger Delta governor's course of uh, militancy. Okay, that's what it says there. And that's the last one we am, I'm seeing from this perspective, Veronica. All right, Mike, let's look up at uh, another matter.
uh, talking about a developing story that happened yesterday, where the president uh, ordered the suspension, indefinite suspension, of uh, the uh, EFCC chair, Abdul Rashid Bawa, uh, to allow for investigation, thorough investigation. Recall that before now, there's been talks about he should be investigated, he should... In fact, some coalition uh, civil society groups and NGOs have spoken with regards to uh, his conduct in office, uh, his luxurious lifestyle. They have complained about how he's able to, you know, meet up some uh, lifestyle demands, talking about the Hajj, the Leicester Hajj he went with his family and how he is able, how it is that he's able to afford that kind of uh, lifestyle, so to speak. And then he's had court cases here and there, some he did not honor. And um, these matters have been ongoing for a while. And recall that uh, former governor of uh, Zamfara State also accused him of uh, asking for a bribe because the governor has a case with the EFCC. All of these issues, you know, had sprung up over time. And now the president is saying, you know what, just step aside. Let's have a thorough investigation to know if truly these issues are true. Yeah. The, the point there is the office of the chairman of the EFCC is, is a very slippery one mm. because of the access they have to resources, especially seized resources. Yes. Good. And then the pressure that they can be under from people who want to settle one way or the other mm -hmm. and wriggle their way out of the, 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 the law and so on. They are human beings. Sometimes uh, they could become uh, uh, pressured to the level where they could even be threatened in some instances where if you don't do this, we will do that. And then you see them succumb. It's possible they succumb from some of the, because we hear different kind of reports. Mm -hmm. Now, the EFCC chairman or suspended EFCC, EFCC chairman is the youngest of all EFCC chairmen we've we had. had. He was yeah. born in 1980. And he, he is a highly trained and intelligent officer. He joined the EFCC in 2004. He's been trained by the FBI. He's been trained by uh, United Nations Office for Drug and Crime. He has gone on so many courses across the world. So when it comes to the capacity and knowledge of what fighting crime is, he totally understands. understands. He's a qualified, mm -hmm. fine gentleman when it comes to uh, the work that he is cut out to do. So he understands and he rose through the ranks. So he understands what EFCC's mandate is. However, he is also a human being mm -hmm. who, will, who could go through all kinds of pressures, who could go through all kinds of temptation of, uh, you know, this and that. But on the other hand, if you see what the president has done, anything that would dent the administration, the president wants to get rid of it. Mm. That is why he feels that this person will be hearing allegation upon allegation upon allegation. Well, let's just go into it. Sorry. If Step he's aside. clean, he could be back. If, he's, if his tenure has not ended, he can, he can come back in and run his tenure. But if he's not clean, then let's keep him aside mm. and sanitize the system. Because EFCC is a very critical in, uh, institu institution of government or institute of government that would help drive the administration's uh, goal Agenda. of reducing corruption. Mm. So because when we're talking about leakages here and there, the EFCC is mandated to block all of the leakages. Mm. So if EFCC itself, as alleged, if it is found that it's true that the chairman of the EFCC or EFCC officials, as the case may be, are part of the leakages themselves or creating leakages for uh, funds to flow through, for, for funds to flow through, then there's a very, it's going to be a very big issue. for corruption. Issue. Exactly. Mm. So, so the issue there is, as it, as it is right now, nobody's saying he's guilty of anything. Of but course. the president has said, step aside first. Mm. Uh, let us investigate, investigate. the issues. And then by the time they find all of the issues, if, they are, if, they are, if, if he's guilty of it or the, the, he's, he's, uh, he's culpable of some of them, he could be charged to court. Okay. If, he's, if, they, if they find that all the allegations are baseless, he could be left to come back to the office so and run his, his the, tenure. The remaining uh, tenure, as the case may be. But now, he's under ES, DSS uh, custody. Mm. And the DSS, uh, since last night, I understand, have been having an interaction with him mm -hmm. regarding what he knows 
in some of the things that uh, were allegations Level, that were leveled, leveled against him. him. Mm. So that is that is anyway that is the right thing to even do in the first place. Mm -hmm. So uh, we wait to see what uh, will come out in the coming days mm. regarding this arrest. The most important thing is it's not about him as a person. It's about the it's institution. About the institution. Mm. It's about Nigeria at this time because the new administration cannot afford to allow allegations to go on and because you don't want to offend people or you don't want to and then you allow things to because all of this the bog stops on the president's table mm -hmm. so if he does it well he takes the credit if he doesn't do well he takes Comes the fault so the issue there is anything even the nnpc the cbn the efcc ndic whatever the, whatever they do wrong it is the president that takes the credit or take oh, sorry takes the the, the fall mm. so nigerians want to see action from the mm. president and that is the action that he's in fact nigerians have begun to nigerians speak right that they are waiting for some other persons to also no, uh, for his such like to yes, be beamed it, on some other persons it, it, if you if you see how the cbn governor was also suspended yeah the the ESC chairman is being suspended mm. others other heads of government is we saw in the papers this yes. morning that uh, they started becoming, <laughs> there's yes. tension in the land <laughs> No, but if they don't have anything to hide, there's no need for tension. Absolutely. Right? There's no need to, for tension anywhere. Mm. If, there's, if you know that you've been your doing everything, clean. your hands are clean, there's no need. Mm. Do your work and move on. Right? Because yeah, we understand even yesterday, the ESCC chairman was with the president. Yes. Right? Of course. Let the, the work of government or governance go ahead. Absolutely. Right? So there's nothing to fear, actually, even except days, if you have something to yes, hide. Yes, even days before the CBN governor was suspended, he was with the president. He was with the president. And they were talking about exactly. the monetary policy. So exactly. you can continue your conversation, but what has to be done has, has to, to be, be done. done. And that and is I the am, direction the president and is taking. And I am taking. glad all of this... Um, Chairman of the EFCC, CBN, former CBN governor, they all understand mm. that it's not about them. It's about the work itself. Mm -hmm. So anyone who will come, ah, they are doing this because he's from here or he belongs. This has well, it, nothing yes. to do with that. This is about the institution of government. It's about governance. It's about, it's about Nigeria as a country and setting the record straight. Because when you hear people from outside say, ah, Nigeria is corrupt. When you hear Nigerians are corrupt, this is sending signals to the world that we are not ready for all of those anymore. We are better than the way mm. people outside paint us to be. Absolutely. We are far better than that. Nigerians are, are some of the most intel intelligent people around the world. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are very resilient and we are very hardworking people. So when people outside, or because of one or two things, news, news flash on Nigeria about corruption, you think all Nigerians are corrupt, all Nigerians are fraudulent. That's not true. It's not, very, it's not true at all. Absolutely. Uh, and now that we are seeing the direction of gov uh, the government and the president, you know, uh, leading the, from the front, I believe that uh, whoever even though I do not admire the person right now who has taken uh, the capacity, the position right now as uh, acting in ca acting capacity. Um, I believe he's learning lessons from successive EFCC chairman. We saw how they left, which is almost similar with how uh, Abdul Rashid Bawa is, is going now. So whoever is sitting in that capacity, in that position operations. right now yeah. would also be ensuring that uh, he does not dent his image in any way. He ensures that whatever he's doing, he's as transparent as possible in his engagement with persons because we know uh, there are those who want to set traps for you. There are those who want to do things. It's normal. It's a normal it's thing. But normal. then you need wisdom right now we to recall, manage that uh, position. Yes, we recall the days of uh, uh, Dora Kunili yeah. when she was at NAVDAC. Yes. She, she mentioned how she has been under pressure. There were threats to her life. In mm. fact, there was a time that uh, she was shot at. Mm. And so the point there is being, in fact, you recall the book by uh, um, uh, former minister of, of uh, finance, Ngozi Okunje, well, uh, fighting corruption is dangerous. Yes. I read that book. And in some of her narration, she tells how her, her, her family, her mom, her parents were, were kidnapped. Threatened. Yeah. You know, so the, it's, it's not easy, but the body language of the president, mm. because the president is the commander in chief, the body language of the president sends signals to everybody who to is the involved. the direction, yes. And as it is right now, it is not business as usual anymore. So 
if you see what's going on right now, it tells you that even those who, whose hands are not clean will begin to go and wash their hands. Oh, come, let us go and wash our hands. <laughs> the things we used to do, we don't want to do again. <laughs> Please, we are okay. I used to do. <laughs> I, I do, do them, them no more. more. <laughs> <laughs> so, so right. uh, naturally, things will begin to take shape. That's what All right, thinking. all right. Uh, we hope that for better days ahead with regards to all of the fight against corruption. And uh, we hope to see more developments in the coming days.